Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to learn about string concatenation. And that's basically taking two text strings and putting them together into one field. For example, first name and last name. In this database, I've got a real simple customer table called customer T. I've got a customer ID, a first name, and a last name. I'd like to be able to put these together in a new field where the first name and last name are together as one. So it just says Joe Smith in one field. Now I don't want the user to have to type this in, so I'm going to use a query to do this. Although you could do this in a form or report field as well, but I'll do it in a query. So I'll go to queries, and then new, design view, OK. I'll bring just my customer table in by double clicking on it, and then I'll hit close. Now down here, I'd like to see first name and last name in my query, so I'll double click on them to bring them down here. And I cover basic query design in my Access 101 class. So in case you don't know what I'm doing now, go ahead and take Access 101 first. Now I'm going to create a new field in here. I'm going to call this my full name. I'm just going to type in the word full name, colon. That means I want to set it equal to something. First name, ampersand, last name. That says take first name and concatenate onto it last name. Now if I run my query, you can see I've got a new field here called full name with Joe Smith, Sue Jones, etc. One right on top of the other. Now, I didn't put a space in there, did I? That's okay. We can add that as well. Let's go back to design view. And I'll add a space in there by clicking here and just simply going quote, space, quote, and another ampersand. Whatever goes inside of those quotes is what will appear in your field. Now when I run my query, there we go. Joe Smith, Sue Jones, with a space in there. If you want this to be last name, comma, first name, just change things around a bit. Change this to last name, comma, put the comma inside the quotes, and then first name. And there we go. And that is all about string concatenation. Now you can do string concatenation in a form as well. Here's a basic customer form with my three fields in there. Again, I cover basic form design in my Access 101 class. I'll add a text box to the bottom of my form, and I'll open up its properties by double-clicking on it. Here are the properties for this new text box called text box 5. I'll change the name to full name, and the control source equals first name, ampersand, space, ampersand, last name, just like I did with the query. Now if I take a look at the form, you can see there it is. So string concatenation works in our forms, reports, and our queries. Now I've just covered the surface of string concatenation. There's a lot more we can learn about it, and I cover a lot more about it in Access 104, my Access 104 class. So come on to the website, accesslearningzone.com, question mark, G-O-A-C 104. That's a link that will take you directly to my Access 104 page, and you can learn more about string concatenation there. Be sure to also check out my free tips and tricks section at accesslearningzone.com slash tips for more free mini tutorials just like this one.